Hey church, my name is Abigail Pia and I'm part of the Young Adults team here at Audacious and today I'm going to be sharing a little bit about the My Miracle series. So, have you ever felt like you're in God's plan and purpose for your life and all of a sudden the rug is ripped from underneath your feet? Well, there, this was me in the last few months of 2022. So, this journey began back in 2019 when I moved to Manchester from London for university. Manchester was not my first choice when applying, in fact it was my fifth and last just because I had to have one. However, when I visited the campus in the spring of 2019, I quickly fell in love with the campus and the city and I was like, this is it. Then fast forward a few months in the same 2019 September, I was excited, full of anticipation, ready to begin my degree at the University of Manchester. God orchestrated everything so beautifully for me to be here. So I was like, this has to be it. And then in May 2022, I got a place for my master's at the same university. And then I was like, this is beautiful. Nothing could possibly go wrong. But a few weeks before my graduation, I received news that I would not be graduating with a degree class that would make the master's possible. So I lost my offer for the course and that meant that I would not be able to pursue my postgraduate studies. I was hurt, I was angry, I was ashamed and also very disappointed. Like everything had seemed to be aligned so perfectly for me, but within a blink of an eye, it was all gone and had all fallen apart. So I started to lose faith in God's promises and plans for my life. I felt stranded, abandoned and forgotten. The hope I once felt about my future was like a distant memory now. The weeks and months that followed were challenging, but the Lord met me in the place of my suffering and restored my identity in him. And these two verses, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10, which says, The God of grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore and establish strength and support you after you suffered a little while. And Isaiah 43 verse 4, which says, Because you are precious in my eyes and honoured and I love you, I give men in return for you, peoples in exchange for your life. These two verses gave me a renewed hope that I am a child of God, never to be defeated, but always victorious. He showed me that so long as my foundation is built and rooted in him alone, I will always stand firm despite the storms of life and that he will always be present and ready to defend and vindicate me at the right and appointed time. And that I will always fly upon wings and swing. Back in May 2022, just before uni was over, I applied for a summer job so that I could work during the summer and make some money for my masters. I went through all the interview stages and I didn't hear back from them after the last one. So I assumed I didn't get the job, which was okay with me because I was going to be in America for the summer. So it didn't really matter. And then my first week in America, I got a call saying that I got a permanent position at the job and I wasn't there. So they said they wouldn't be able to reserve a spot for me but they keep my resume on the file and I was like that's okay with me and just one week before I was supposed to fly back to London in September I had no idea what I was coming back to do but I was still trusting God and then I got a call from the company saying that they would like to offer me a permanent position again and in that moment I understood that verse Isaiah 61 verse 10 I surely rejoice in the Lord and my heart is joyful because of God because he has clothed me with clothes of victory, wrapped me in a robe of righteousness like a bridegroom in a priestly crown and like a bride adorned in jewelry. And I was like, the Lord has indeed clothed me with vi clothes of victory. This job has been going amazing. I'm thriving at work and the Lord is really moving in my workplace. And I believe he's not done with me yet. And I just wanted to encourage us that our definition of greatness is not the same as the Lord. So even if we're in a season where we feel like God has left us or forsaken his promises to us, he has not. His timeline is not ours and our vision is not his. He's not a man, so he will never lie. And all his promises concerning us will come to pass. So for anyone feeling like you're at the end of your journey or that God is silent, I want to encourage you that he's always present. We serve a God that is always moving and orchestrating things in the background. He's faithful to complete a work that he has started in us and he's making all things to work together for our good. And your issue has not escaped him. He remains true through all the storm, valleys and mountaintops and everything in between. And he's dependable and he will show up just at the right time. Thank you so much for listening. And I believe that God will always show up just at the right time. See you guys and enjoy the rest of your day.